The average American now buys more online than they do in stores, but the convenience can cost you some money if you aren't careful. Joining us this morning with some great ways to save while you're shopping online is Simply Money's Nathan Backrack. Thanks for coming in. Morning. I love these tips because I think people can get caught up in buying something online. Oh, you and think then, the thrill of the hunt? And then you lose money in the long run when you hope you're saving. Yeah, so let's talk about when you uh, go to a retailer and you want to save some money, all right? I want you to head to either Raise or Gift Granny Card, excuse me, Gift Card Granny. Okay. Now here's what happens, you find something, you go, oh, this is great, I've got a great price. Well, before you hit that button, before you hit the return button, hit, grab your mouse, your trackpad, whatever is your preferred way of doing business, I want you to go to Ray's or Gift Card Granny and look for a gift card for maybe your favorite store. As an example, I saw Gap gift cards. Somebody didn't want to go to Gap, they exchanged it, they, they got beat up on, you know, they gave $20, got $10 uh, of cash back for a $20 card. You can get these cards. This was a 14% discount by buying a Gap card. So you see something in Gap you wanted, go to Gift Card Granny, get the gift card. You'll save 14% sure. on top of whatever it is that you've saved. We saw CVS cards, by the way, with a 10% discount. Wherever you can save a dollar, better to be in your pocket than somebody else's. It takes a little, big, a little bit of legwork, but it's not hard mm. to do. Come on, you're sitting at your computer. How hard is this hack going to be? Yeah, no, that's a good idea. Um, hacking, as we're calling it yeah. this morning, is something that you need to be aware of. Hacking now, down the prices. Here, here's the great one. You look at your credit cards, you look at all kinds of different services, and they say, well, if you join this club, if you uh, have this credit card, you will look for price adjustments. Or the, 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 uh, the retailer will say, hey, if you find it anywhere cheaper in the next 30 days, we'll give it to you for the lower price. And what do you do? You buy the thing, you're out of there, and you forget about it, right? All right, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to an app called Paribus. Now, the first time Paribus does this, it's free. They're going to take your email, all right? And then when the receipt comes to your email, they're going to see, ah, oh, Dan just bought a widescreen TV. You never would. All right, Dan bought a widescreen TV. Now they know because they have access to your email, and they go looking around. And over the next 30 days, if they find that TV cheaper somewhere else so that you can take that information and go back to Costco or whoever has the price guarantee and say, hey, I found it cheaper. So all you got to do is look at your email and go, oh, hey, I'm saving nice. money. Bingo. Now, the problem that people don't like with Paribus you're giving them access to your email. That's just one other person that might be able to go in and uh, create some damage because somebody might hack Paribus and then get to you. I think it's unlikely, but you need to read those privacy policies and make sure that you're comfortable. But that way, you, you, you take advantage of some features yeah. that often require legwork, which in a busy day, we're like, oh, yeah, oh, my 30 days are up. Hey, I just saw it cheaper. Tough luck. Well, and it takes the onus off of you doing all of that right. legwork. The first time Paribus does this, free. After that, if they save you 100 bucks, they're taking 25% of it. But you know something? If you wouldn't have gone and done this in the first place, yeah. hey, so you still get 75% of the savings. All right, so I looked at your notes. Um, there's something to be said about Amazon yeah. and, and hacking Amazon. Well, let's hacking talk, literally. Well, but. let's talk about prices. When you're tracking prices at Amazon, which is a whole other beast in and of itself, and 43% of all online sales are now on Amazon, so if you're not shopping at Amazon, well, you will be. Mm -hmm. Camel. Camel, camel. And don't ask me where they came up with this. I thought ham, camel maybe had two humps, but no, it's camel, camel, camel. Um, use camel, 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 and it will track the prices and make sure you're getting the best deal. And if there's an item you like, camel, camel, camel will go, oh, Dan, you who, when you get home tonight, boom, there it is. All right, uh, tip of the week. Well, how often is it that we use our credit card and don't really get the full understanding of just how much money it is uh, that we're spending? Sure. So here's a great app. It's called Deputize. All right, uh, like deputize somebody to be in track of your money, but deputize, and what it'll do is every time you spend money on your credit card, it'll take money right out of your checking account and put it into a savings account Great. until that money has to be spent. And you know what you find after a while? You go, whoa, just use my card. Oh, that's money out of my checking account. Very quickly, you get a cause and effect, and that's what makes you start saving money.